Hey everyone. Um, today is going to be kind of a different video. Um, just kind of a lot of the stuff recently going on with Nikon and a lot of people really bashing them and just it's kind of crazy how much it almost seems like there's hate towards Nikon. Um, I don't know. I, I have a D5600 here that I've been using for the last couple of years. Um, I put a Tamron 17 to, what is it, 50, 2.8 on here. That made a big difference with this camera. I, I like the camera. Of course, it's not a professional camera. But my wife decided to early go and get me a camera. I was looking at a Z6 II. But uh, for a few reasons, ended up with a Z7. Um, you listen to a lot of people complain about it. And I've used it now for hmm, two weeks. Um, I'm not professional by any means. Um, she happened to get a heck of a good deal on it from the local camera shop, which is a couple of the reasons why I bought it because, or she bought it for me, is they, you know, local. I prefer spending my money that way than online. Um, and with the FTZ adapter and the F4 lens on it, the whole kit, it was $3,000. Um, I was seeing it on Nikon Black Friday sale for $32 without the adapter. So, yeah, I was, yeah, I think $400 more than the Z6 II with the lens. So, it kind of almost made sense. I mean, I don't do sports. I don't... I mean, I'll take some birds, say the backyard or whatever, but nothing, nothing super crazy. So for me, you know, I don't know the autofocus thing is like picked up my dog just fine. Um, but you see a lot of landscape people shooting Z7s. Um, I know I, I watch a lot of Matt Irwin videos and I mean, he's all Nikon and some of the stuff he says makes sense. And at, at a point, almost kind of getting sick of some of these you know, reviewers, because it just, it's crazy. You watch a video, they slam it, then all of a sudden there's Sony, and, oh, it's old, but it's still okay because it was good at the time. Well, you know, that's kind of, then you give Nikon crap for something that, you know, okay, they were, it's old, so now they have a new one, and now, you know, it, I don't know. But... A lot of that actually kind of pushed me to the Nikon because I was looking at an R5. I was thinking about it, but I mean, I, you talk to a lot of people with Nikons and the pictures are great. I mean, the picture quality is great. I had a Canon a few years ago and I know that's old, but I don't know. I really, really like the Nikon. So, I mean, it depends what you do. And that's, that's the thing that nobody talks about is it depends what you shoot what you do. I mean, I take pictures of some sunrises, a lot of farm equipment. I mean, so they move slow, trains move slow. Um, I got model trains in the back. I mean, that stuff is, you know, autofocus does not matter at all for any of that stuff. And these pictures, the few pictures I've taken out of this Z7, I mean, of course, compared to this D5600 are, are you know, head and shoulders better. But I guess the last thing that I really liked with this, the Z7 is I don't have the money to go and buy a bunch of new lenses for it. So I have, you know, I'm, I've got a couple older F-mount lenses. But the nice thing is, so for video, you, you know, the DX mode and for pictures. So I can use my DX lenses and I can still get 20 megapixels in DX mode. Where if I had the Z6 II, I don't know, what, what is it, 16, 15, something like that. So, I mean, in that regard, it's almost like I have this camera with me at the same time. So, yeah, it hopefully hopefully it all works out and it'll do, do what I need it to do. But so far, I've been pretty happy. So, if you have a Nikon and it's getting you down, just hang in there and... It'll get better. Thanks for watching.